quite some time now, the Niger Delta Development Commission, NDDC, has appeared like an organization without a clear direction. After much public outcry, President Muhammad Buhari has sacked the sole administrator of NDDC, F. Young Aqua, who replaced Ponde, the erstwhile acting managing director. In a statement by the Director of Press at the Ministry of Niger Delta Affairs, Patricia Delrishi, the President also announced constitution of a new management team and governing board of the NDDC. According to the statement, the names of the new management team and governing board will be transmitted to the National Assembly for approval. Thank you. Will this say this has been long coming? Yes. Um, in fact, it's a shame that it's taken this long. Mm. Since um, this government got into office, the NDDC has now had um, a board to run its affairs, despite the fact that it is stipulated in the law uh, setting up the NDDC in the year 2000, that it shall have a board. I am particularly worried that the president sent in a list of board members back then, um, I think uh, headed by Okumagba, and um, they were screened by the National Assembly only for the Minister of, um, of uh, Niger Data Affairs yes. to move in and try to have the try to have a new board in place of the board that the National That's Assembly right. has screened. Mm. Ultimately he had his way by coming up with an interim management committee. Uh, then there was a scandal about the looting of the NDDC during the um, lockdown during the COVID season, which Kola uh, Ole was here with us, was a whistleblower for the in respect of the, the, the looting that happened at that time. Due to public um, outcry, the IMC was disbanded and the minister brought he brought a, a sole administrator, uh, administrator from the state. And he was running the NDDC more or less like his personal fiefdom mm. because the special advisor from Akwaibon, the sole administrator from Akwaibon, the minister from Akwaibon, mm. I mean, this is in complete disregard and disrespect to the uh, nine states that uh, make up the NDDC. So people had pleaded, pleaded and appealed to the president to constitute that board so that they can properly, uh, the, the board can do its duty of oversighting the, the management of, of the NDDC board. I wonder why the president refused to to do that. It's just now. It's just now that um, uh, the president is given approval for a new board to be constituted. I will have thought that in December 2020, when the president sacked um, the Ponde, when Ponde was removed, they will have constituted a board immediately. Mm. You know, but here we are. Uh, the uh, section five of section two of the NDDC Act 2000 had been flagrantly violated by the refuser all this while to set up that board despite protests by Niger Delta stakeholders and um, including uh, Tom Polo who issued threats and then we saw the minister go to see uh, Tom Polo in his village but in spite of that he stuck to his gun he did not uh, constitute the board so it's it's um, it's really shameful 
honestly. All right, Kolali, as someone who has been involved in investigations of the activities of the NDDC, what impact will this have on the agency and development on the region? Um, the law uh, setting up uh, NDDC actually saw, uh, saw the need to, to take development of the people mm -hmm. across the nine states, making up the Niger Delta state, and the board was set up. The states were meant to have representative. And the commission, sorry, the commission was set up. And each state ought to have representative on the board. The, the, or because the money that NDDC spent does not come from the federal government alone. I think it's just, it's just a fraction of it. The oil producing companies actually pay some amount of reality money to the to the commission, and they ought to be represented in the board of the commission. The Ministry of Environment, that is a key player, because you have you know, oil spillage and environmental pollution and all of that. So the Ministry of Environment is involved. They also, they should be part of the board also. Mm -hmm. you, have, you have also a rep of the Ministry of Finance and you know, on and on. But when you have an interim administrator or interim committee, so to speak, two, three persons, you have, it's, you have, you have done a great injustice to the remaining state, especially what you described, mm -hmm. where you have every single player, both the ministry, the commission, and the special advisor to the president coming from Aquaibo, I both the remaining state. This change is the very first time you have, of course, it's not really an acting, acting MD that in preparatory to the board, mm. let the most senior civil servant, you know, takes over. And mm. I think the man is from Delta State. And um, is, it is very first time in a long while that you have, you know, that change. And unfortunately, they have, they have turned that place to a place to, uh, to, to satisfy the, the yearnings of political associates. Let me take you uh, down the memory lane. In 2000, when the commission, you know, was formed, uh, there was a man brought in as executive director of finance, then Timia Laibe. As soon as he got there, by 2003, he went to challenge uh, the sitting governor of his state, Alamin Siaden, having the backing of the president. Now, he came back, he failed, and he was returned to his position. Mm -hmm. So he sat there in that position to contest for an election. In fact, he was even rewarded later by being promoted to the managing director of the same commission. And again, he wasn't done. He went back again to contest. He failed. Even the inaugural, even the inaugural chairman, the chairman of the board, I think one Ugochuko, I mean, one Ugochuko, I can't remember the exact name, Ugochuko or so from Abia State. He was also a rival to the then uh, governor of Abia State, uh, uh, Ojikalu. And as soon as he got there too, the plot was to become the governor. So ever since that time, go and check those who went to that place. They, 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 they are, they are, once, once they are dead, they are nursing the gubernatorial admission mm -hmm. of their state. Even, the, of course, we have a board in 2016 when Mr. Kerry came in as, a, as DMD. He also went there to go contest elections. So it has become a place either to send people to, to go gather money mm -hmm. for election or to recoup what they send or to put your cronies there who can finance the major election, federal election now for this matter. Mm. Even though we want a board now, I'm sus I am very suspicious, but unfortunately we've been clamoring for board for long, so you can't really, in fact, you can't say no, the board should come. Mm. However, when the board comes, it, it's a promise. We will monitor every single damn display because this is an election time. We've been asking mm. for board since 2019. You didn't give us a mm. few months to election. Are they trying to set up a board that will be able to finance you know, the federal election? Of course, they will have us to contend with. We will watch every single penny they spend, sincerely speaking. Because why have we... See, the law said that there should be board. Why did you deny us that board this far? Question. Despite all the protests, despite even when we brought document to the table showing that those who were there, those who were put there, that they were merely just putting their hands into, into the cookies there and siphoning hmm. the money of the commission at the expense of the people. And there was no response, unfortunately. Now, of course, election is there. And 
I think they got it put there now. Uh, engineer, I want to remember, I want to, as of 2019, he was the alternate chairman then to the, uh, uh, to the verification exercise. Very fair. Very, very fair. If, if we can replicate that to have a, pro, a very sound project manager in the board, that will be solid. That would be very good. So I think the board composition also you know, matters. We should be looking at that too. Who are, those, who are those that will be in this board? So in fact, we are waiting eagerly for that list to come out so we can again interrogate the process, you know, interrogate also the states being represented. For example, Ondo is saying that the MD should come, you know, should mm. come by Araki, by law. Edo is saying it is their turn. So we hope there will not be, mm. you know, uh, uh, incumbrances of law again. Uh, 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 regarding the composition of the board. All right. Thank you very much, Kola Obiko. As a follow-up to Kola Oli's analysis, NDC has had three interims um, heads, and in that space of time, there have been several allegations of management, mismanagement of funds. Yes. How do we bring sanity into that system? Honestly, if we do not um, properly scrutinize and supervise the activities of the NDDC. We are just wasting our mm. time. I read the submissions of the Senate, which posited that the president should return the return the NDDC to supervision by the presidency. Mm. You know, it used to be supervised by the uh, presidency. Then, Mr. President, after appointing the Minister of um, Minister of Niger Data Affairs, decided to add the supervision of the NDDC to his work. People complained at that time that it was against the law setting up the NDDC mm. for it to be under a minister. The act setting up the NDDC says it shall be under the presidency. But some other people argue that the president has the right to delegate, oh. you know. But what we are saying is even in allowing that delegation to take place, the, 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 even in, in out, okay, let me even use the word outsourcing is responsibility to the minister. Are we sure that that role has been played effectively? I am not convinced. At the time when the president ordered the uh, forensic um, auditing of the accounts of the NDDC, the minister, I mean the Justice Minister Malami said that they discovered 13,000 doubtful projects despite having spent, having released more than 6 trillion uh, naira. Uh, I mean 6 trillion, uh, despite having allocated 6 trillion since the year 2001 right up 2019. to uh, 2019 19. to the agency. And there are still so many uncompleted and unverified uh, uh, projects, you know. Even after the forensic, um, um, forensic auditing Audit. began, a lot of these infractions were still taking place. There is nothing significant that has happened within the NDDC that can convince me, for example, that um, the media future will be better. People mm -hmm. see the NDDC as an avenue to simply loot resources of our country, projects that they knew that they would not, they have no plan to execute. It goes into the books as a uh, NDDC projects and they just use it to, to take money off the system and and and, uh, and spend. During the COVID era, they were paying allowances to themselves. Mm. 
you know. And uh, who are the people who needed um, um, to be helped? The poorest of the poor were people who needed some form of assistance or another. But if people who are already privileged were paying themselves allowances from uh, NDDC account, it shows that they need to be monitored. I am of the view that this uh, NDDC should be returned to the presidency. Mm -hmm. It should not be under the supervision of a minister because under the supervision of a minister, the, the scandals that happen during the Ponde-led uh, management, it still happened. And you saw him, you saw the drama that took place in the <laughs> National Assembly where somebody was trying to help him and they thought the guy was actually out to choke him to death. You know, and he was supposed to have passed mm -hmm. out. But you saw how he was holding that guy's hand. It uh, was a right? drama to escape the public hearing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Before I come to you, let's quickly take Emmanuel from Lagos. Hello, Emmanuel. Hello. Good afternoon. Please go ahead with your contribution. All right. Uh, you see, it's actually uh, it's pathetic and uh, very, very sad. And um, I'm privileged to actually uh, have the opportunity to hear my own opinion. Thank you. Thanks to you guys, what you're doing, and then Uncle uh, GD as well. Don't this is one of the reasons why that is very important that when we actually uh, electing leaders or giving responsibility to our representatives, let us give that opportunity to people that we know they will deliver. It's actually no, no uh, hidden uh, secret that everyone knows that whatever will come out or whatever Adio has actually done. Oh, right. as a representative at one time or another will bring no results. Thank you very much, Emmanuel. And Thank you for your contribution. All right, uh, Kolaule, there are reports that the acting MD is not the most senior. What does the law say about this? Oh, oh well, I, 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 I think um, uh, uh, the law was very clear. I mean, the law is very, very clear. It said in the absence of a political end, the most senior director should take over. Mm. It said provided that the most senior director is not having any pending disciplinary issue. So, in that case, if you, if you need the most senior director to take over here, and the most senior has a pending case, you know, case, you know he moves to the nest, to the nest until he gets to the person without, uh, without uh, 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 such pending disciplinary cases. And I think, uh, I think the minister must have done his homework to bring these persons, but Beyond that, I, 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 I think having a project manager in that place and engineer, I think he was a man that won, uh, that won this uh, won award in the House of Commons, you know, mm -hmm. some years back. He's quite competent. That that I can say. But unfortunately, he won't be staying there for long because you have you have the board comes. I mean, the board is coming. However, I think I think I think they are right in. Um, Bringing him, I'm not aware of any other person, who, you know, who is more senior to him. However, by the law, by the law, the commission ought to be giving report to the president every quarter. That is what the law says. So, the supervision of the president is not even to have a day-to-day -day supervision. Of course, there are a level of contract that can be awarded that must come to the, you know, that must come to the. Uh, uh, to the presidency before they can award that. However, in terms of supervision that was even given to the minister, that has been abused very seriously. Mm. Right now, what you have the ministers do, starting from the last minister, uh, 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 from Gotula Pabio, they, they practically run the place. That is against the dictate of the law, setting up the place. Not the minister, in, you know, even monitoring, I mean, even, even, even trying to manage their finance. It is right. not done. The, what... When the president gave his power to right. the minister, not even to the ministry, it was to help him supervise, not to, not to run the commission. All right. Mm. We'll get back to that. All right, Reverend Dominic, thank you for joining us on the program today. Good afternoon. Good afternoon to our guests and good afternoon to Jude. Good afternoon, good afternoon to you. Good afternoon. If you can hear me, please give me 60 seconds to make this point. All right. The, I don't know if the man in the studio is from the Naya Delta. If... If he is from Niger Delta, I don't sympathize with them. You say you know this regional issue of Cover National Assembly. When they know about Niger Delta Ministry, most of us protest against it. Why? The reason we protest against it is that do you want development in Niger Delta 
or do you want bureaucracy? NDGC is there. NDGC is for you know, development. Um, Patrick is there. Why do you want to create another bureaucracy? They in the Niger Delta say they want it. Remember, Obama and John did not sign that bill. It was vetoed, if I'm correct. So the issue is that the people in Niger Delta, they want to shed money individually. They don't want development. If they want development, they don't need Niger Delta ministry. What, what are you, what is the minister of Niger Delta? NDC is for development. Why do you bring an bureaucracy? If you go to the office, you know, if you see the staff of NDC and the staff of Niger Delta ministry, they're over one million doing what? So the, the young man there should blame themselves because we protest against it. They want that ministry. Today you see it, what is happening. So Niger Delta ministry, which a minister of what that says, that take care of a minister, is a waste of time. Thank we you. must work with the way. And Thank go you, back Reverend to Dominic. NDC. Thank you very much okay. for <laughs> a quick response to that. You don't have that kind of staff strength in the commission. It's not possible. Of course, they have state offices, and you put all of them together. It, it, it is nothing. In fact, it's a far cry. Many times of that. Maybe no, no, no. It's a far cry. Besides, the commission comes in. I mean, uh, uh, came. Uh, uh, I think in year two thousand, mm. the ministry came years later. It was the commission that the people advocated for to have. If you have Northeast Development Commission, why would you think it's a crime to have, have Niger mm. Delta Development Commission? Uh, that is the area that gives food to this nation. The country is developing on the oil of the Niger Delta. Mm. So to have a commission that will look into the affairs. See, do you understand the terrain of that place? If it takes you one million area to do, uh, 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 to construct a hundred meter of road, in, in, say, in, say, in Ogun State. You can't do the same in the Niger Delta State because of the terrain. It takes you much more. Now, the oil that, uh, that, you, know, that you have is, 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 is spilling, killing the fishes in the river. The people can't even go to the farm. Mm -hmm. So you can't leave them without a commission like this. However, it is not the people that is responsible you know, for, for, for what has the uh, bedevil the commission. It is the politician, and mostly from the federal level. I repeat, mm. that supervises. I mean, that supervise the, 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 the looting of the commission. They give them the back end. Sorry, I'm is, coming. Please, I'm coming. Please, I'm coming. It is the looting. Angry. When you shout, they give them protection. So I wanted to ask, who checks Jimmy? the NDDC? Huh? Who checks the NDDC? It is the president that should check. Let me tell you. We investigated, we brought documents to the table. The president did not act. We went, I, I nearly lost my life. Mm. See, I shot from 96 kg to 66 kg, I mean, to 64 kg on NDDC issue. And the president did not, see, most of our team, many of them are in this area today. We, we did thorough job. Nobody was paying them. So, see, I had a lady who came from UK, University of Coventry, sat with us for this job during the COVID. We were eating bread and granite at times. We will stay for three good days analyzing documents just to be able to ensure that we brought a change in that place. And we brought all of this to the table, went to National Assembly, defended our position, public hearing. We were, in, we were going from one place to another, and the president refused to act simply because you have people around him who are milking the place. Mm. Please. Okay, your final second. There is a need uh, to reposition the NDDC. In my view, there's a need to put an end to the nonsense that's going on there, the looting um, that is going on there. And the representatives of the nine states, Abia, Akwai, Bombayesa, Cross River, Delta, Imo, Undo Rivers, they need to stand up to be counted. They need to stand up and demand for what is rightfully theirs. PKO, the hmm? people demanded. People, see, we, the elders, they rose, they spoke, but the president refused to act. The power to act doesn't lie with the people. It lies with the president. Well, we, there is nothing we can do about that. That is gone. Um, we hope that there will be a new ray of hope. Amen. Yes. Thank you. Everyone, you have every right to be angry because mm. I know the energy you put into that work. But it's the same with everyone. We want a better country, but there are some people who do not want that better country to happen. So no matter how hard you work, no matter the energy you put into your work, they are there to ensure out of selfishness mm. that 
Yes, we do not achieve our goal of having a Nigeria of our dream. I sincerely need to thank you, Mr. Kaleoli Johnson, for coming on the program today. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Just <laughs>